So obviously I am uh, incredibly passionate about the Freshy brand and I, I bleed green. Uh, but one thing I've never done uh, is uh, inked my, uh, my arm to prove it. Uh, but Lisa here has. Uh, Lisa is a, um, a team member uh, of ours and I'd love you to take a minute just to introduce yourself uh, to the franchise system, uh, who you are, where you're from, how long you've been uh, with us, and then let's just talk a little bit. Okay, so my name is Lisa Honkinen. I'm an operations manager at Freshy Westboro in Ottawa. I've been with Westboro for almost two years now. My two year anniversary coming to Freshy U will actually be on Mother's Day, so next week. So I think it's my two year anniversary on Tuesday. Wow. So you, Lisa has uh, two I's in her name. It's Lisa spelled L-I-I-S-A, which is, I think, uh, fortuitous and maybe serendipitous. Did you, did you uh, when you were applying for Freshie, was the I-I at the end uh, and the way your name is spelled make any connection or, or give an extra soft spot for why you applied with us? Well, I actually didn't even put two and two together until Ashley, who uh, interviewed me on the telephone, mentioned it. That's really interesting. Because for me, my spelling of my name has been like that since birth, so. So tell, tell us a little bit about your stores uh, that you support and some of the trends and how you make that happen. So my store, we are going into our third year. Um, year over year, we are growing. We are walk category, so weather is very, um, our store is very, Dependent on the weather, having nice weather, Canada winter time, it's up and down. You never know, but year over year, growing our sales and growing catering, school lunch program, and continuing to be a part of our community. And so, there's a franchise owner of the stores, and you are the operations yeah. lead for for that franchise operate uh, franchise partner. Can you maybe just talk about the relationship between uh, you and the franchise owner? And how you divide up the duties and what your uh, your expectations are for yourself uh, and what your expectations are for the franchise owner to allow you to do the best thing you can do for this brand. All right. So our situation is a little bit different than the typical, I would say, operations manager owner. Um, our my owner is very back end, paying the bills, um, checking the bank account, making sure everything's paid for. Whereas I deal with everything day to day, um, getting our targets, getting contracts for catering, school lunch program. So it's a little bit jack of all trades for myself and very, I wouldn't say she's hands off, but she's very back end and just lets me deal with the whole store. We check in once a week with our weekly meetings so she does know what's going on. So you guys meet every week, but basically she lets you do your thing. Yes. And, and so what is your thing? What do you do every day? So every day I do team member check-ins, look at our numbers from previous years, um, see how I can be better than I was yesterday, and see where I, what I'm gonna do for the rest of the week, the rest of the month, year, and keep trying to beat what we did last year. So you are uh, very vocal and very supportive of uh, Freshy HQ on community. In fact, yeah. uh, in some of the forums, I've witnessed you uh, uh, defend some of the decisions that Freshy HQ is making yeah. uh, and so so I'll be the first to acknowledge that we're not perfect uh, but you're somebody who I think recognizes uh, like a lot of our partners that you know the, the basic principles and the base tools that we provided uh, will allow you to uh, operate a successful and profitable business but as we think about the future and you know you're here at HQ today with us meeting the team and meeting the leaders maybe are there any things that you would like to see us do better to help you take your store uh, and your stores to the next level? Um, that's a good question. I would say just giving us more tools that we can build off of, because every store is different, um, not every store is the same, whether it's location, structural, structural um, team members, everything's different per. So keeping everything on a broad spectrum and then making letting us managers do the rest and supporting us managers, because there is a lot out there for team members, there's stuff out there for franchise partners, and I know that the people team is training team 
actually, I think it is, working on manager stuff right now, which yeah. is exciting. So more manager tools yeah. to help you continue to optimize your skills and, yeah. and optimize the business you're, off or you're running. What keeps you up at night? <sighs> Good question. Always HR. <laughs> Making sure we have enough team members, recruiting, hiring is the number one. So you had one store and then you have two stores now? No, I just You just have one store? Yeah. And, um, and how, what sort of turnover do you see in that location? How many team members uh, work? How many are full-time? How many are part-time? So I have 12 team members. During the school year, eight are part-time, four are full-time. Right now, majority of them are becoming full-timers. Um, there's also a few that are becoming part-time because I have one going on maternity leave next week. So it's very, it's very dependent. And how do you keep them motivated? So each week we do, um, I let the team actually vote on team member of the week, and then there's always a little prize to be won, whether it's a free meal coupon, a little cute cup from Walmart, or uh, the new freshy cooler bags. I ordered a few extra to give them away. And then once a month, there is a team member of the month, and the team votes on that as well, so there's no bias on my end. And then always making sure that they're happy. We do team outings every two months. Um, they also get tip out, which they enjoy every Monday. And yeah, just going above and beyond, getting to know them. So your store is uh, how we would categorize as a top top 10% store. Uh, not always based on just sales, but just we have our own internal algorithm that we use to rank our stores. So what makes your store a top 10% in your opinion? I would say 110%, giving all these there. Um, sometimes I'm there five days a week, six days a week, seven days a week, and just very trusting of my team to get everything done and always trying to push myself to be better than I was last year, last week, yesterday. Did you, did you show us your oh. tattoo? Did you get that? Okay, my last question yeah. is why are your nails, uh, look very similar to our upcoming umami uh, LTO that we're about to roll out? Because I actually got them the, as close as color as I could to the new umami coupon, so every time someone comments on my nails, they actually get a coupon. I love that. <laughs> well, so I've got some work to do. I've got to get myself an eye eye tattoo. I've got to done. figure out a color scheme for my nails. Uh, continue to do great things, Lisa. It's so great to have you here. Thanks for sharing some of your uh, words of wisdom. Keep on being a champion. We'll keep on being a champion of yours. Uh, appreciate it so much. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>